Diaz Gunners Collective TV. Back at it? You already know. Like a motherfucking smack at it. Bye up. Bye up. In a menudo style and direct fashion, we're going to get straight to the content of the day. But before we do, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Ding. Put your notification bell on all so that way you're directed in the direction of the dope content I am kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support, man. We're going up on this channel and it's all because of you. And for that, I can say I'm very humbled and I'm very much appreciative. So thank you, man. I couldn't do it without you. So a lot of people have been asking what's been going on lately, man. I've been slowing down on dropping videos and my super series on the other channel and all that. And to be quite honestly honest with you, man, um, my diabetes has been kicking in bad, man. So here's a little update. I wanted to give you guys a personal update on what's been going on, right? So um, sometimes I've been known to push the envelope. Push the linea, right? I push the line a little too close and pff, it goes to the red. So what had happened was I stopped fucking around uh, with all the medications I was getting and, and all that just because it was making my stomach upset. I was feeling bad, right? So I felt that if for no other reason, um, I should try to do it my way. And, and I want to thank everybody out there, man, that's been giving me suggestions. I've tried a little bit of everything, the carnivore diet, I've you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, all these little home remedies and, um, nothing worked, right? Nothing worked, you know, and I felt the only thing that was working in my favor was just straight up working out and drinking water. That to me, that was what was best for me, right? Um, I'm not saying for you, but for me, okay, no medical advice. This is just for me. And I was feeling good. I was gaining my weight back. You know, diabetes is nothing to play with. You know, I see people grow old with it and go, but with me, it's a little, it's, I caught it too late. I've been had it, didn't know I had it because I didn't have no symptoms and I just overdid it, right? So with me, my vision is starting, I'm starting to go blind, right? My vision is starting, you see me always squint. It's not because I'm not wearing my glasses. It's more so because my vision is, I mean, from right here to right there where I'm at with the camera now, I'm blurry as fuck, right? So it's just what it is. Um, But for a while there, just drinking water and working out for me was doing good. And I started to get a little relaxed. I started to get so relaxed that I started to do cheat days. You know, oh, I'm going to eat these carbs this day. I'm going to eat that this day. And um, one day became two days, became three days. And I did it to myself, right? It's hard, man. It's hard, especially when you're when you're uh, brown and our food is so good. Mexican food is beautiful and it's great, right? That a little chili reno. A little uh, 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 carne asada, little carnitas, never hurt nobody unless it's me, right? It kills me. So I um, I started to indulge in a little bit too much and I started to feel bad, right? I started to get uh, uh, tired all the time. I started to, the symptoms started to come back. This is just in the last week. So I went to see my doctor, whatever, pulled up and explained to him. And he was like, fucking baboso, right? You're back on the fucking food. Are you drinking sodas? No, I'm not drinking sodas. I'm drinking the zeros. But at the same time, I do have, you know, I do eat a little crazy sometimes. And so he gave me some new medications and whatever. Try it. And they, they knocked my dick to the dirt. They killed me, right? That shit right there had me asked out all weekend like a zombie. I was like the living, the uh, night of the living dead, the walking dead, right? And, you know, sometimes when you're not paying attention to your body, you're not paying attention to what you're supposed to do and you slip, you're going to get bad results, right? That's just like prison. If you're out there gangbanging, you're out there involving yourself in, in frivolous activity and, and doing crime, what do you think you're going to get? You're going to get two things. Either your ass locked up or you're going to get your ass uh, uh, killed, period, right? That's what's going to happen. Um, same thing goes when you're fighting a disease, man. When you're fighting something that you can't control, but you can though, right? Something you couldn't control getting because it's hereditary with me, right? But I, it's hard for me to do the right things. It's all willpower, right? And it's crazy because I have willpower and life on everything. You know, not drinking anymore. Every once in a while, a pistol, but not drinking anymore like that. Not indulging in any drugs or anything. Not just, just trying to be straight edge. Just trying to do what I'm supposed to do. And the shit is killing me, ain't it? Straight up. And I'm doing it to myself slowly but surely, right? But it's hard. So, you know, for those that have been asking, that's what's been going on. And uh, I'm going to explain to you exactly what went on this weekend. So about Friday, I think it was Friday, 
I, uh, that's when I was feeling bad. I pulled up to the doctor like, yeah, I'm feeling bad. And what happens is I have post-traumatic, I'm institutionalized from prison. All these things are in one. So when something goes bad, it affects everything, anxiety, everything, everything gets affected, right? And that's just being real, man. I'm letting you guys into a little glimpse of my life, what I fight through, right? I might be on the camera laughing, ba -da -ba, all that shit, right? But behind the scenes, the struggle is real, right? So I pulled up, he gave me the new medicines, whatever. Like I said, it kicked in, it just fucked me up. And not only did it fuck me up, but it, it made me very anxious, very anxious to like do something. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but it made me very anxious. And so that combined with my post-traumatic, you know, because I'm always on swivel. I'm always aware of my surroundings. It just fucked me up, man. Bad. Had my mind messed up, my, my body messed up. And I couldn't even get out of bed on, on Saturday. From Saturday evening all the way to Sunday, I was just... Phew. And I did videos like that, man. And I knew that I couldn't bring you guys or present you guys the best entertainment and what I do... Um, so the last couple of days, I've been feeling a little bit better, just a little bit. And I'm on my water for reals. So I'm going to stick to to what's best for me in this situation. And the thing that's best for me is just straight up eating grass. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm on my motherfucking cow shit right here. I'm cow pie. Straight grass and water because I've tried, like I said, every little thing. And I'm willing to take suggestions, but I've tried everything. It's hard for me, man. You know, it's hard to to pass by McDonald's and not get some French fries. It's hard to not get a Whopper from Burger King. You know, not that I say, not saying that I've been doing that because I know better than that. But it's hard though. I ain't even gonna lie. I be almost wrecked the other day, breaking my neck, smelling the the, the charbroil from Burger King, right? Um, but slowly but surely, gente, is is I'm losing the battle, right? And the reason I'm losing the battle is because of me, my mentality, my thinking, and and the weakness. The weakness to fight, you know, against good foods. Now, look, I'm going to be real with you. My whole life, you know, I was in the trenches. I grew up in the ghetto. I grew up not having much, but just having enough, right? And, you know, when, when it's like that, you grew up eating whatever's on the table. So I ate whatever there was. You know, and every once in a while, there was some McDonald's here and there, you know, when mom's welfare check hit. Every once in a while, there was a little bit of this and that. In the hood, you just, you survive how you survive, right? Never thinking about, you know, what's going to happen. And as you get older, you know, I went to prison, um, in and out of prison and them foods are the worst for you. Contaminated ass fucking shit that they give you, saltpeter ass stuff they give you, right? Known to cause all types of diseases, right? This is what I ate for the majority of my life. So when I got out, instead of saying, you know what, I'm going to be healthy, work out, do all that. We all say that in our lives. We all say that we all want to do that. We have good intentions, but we don't get on that. Right. But instead of sticking to that, I, uh, I got right into the mix of I'm going to eat whatever I'm on. I'm going to enjoy myself for all the time that I did and everything I missed. I'm going to eat big steaks. I'm going to eat big hamburgers. I'm going to eat big burritos. And I started to overdo it. You know, I'm overdoing it where I can't just go to the taco truck and get four tacos and maybe a burrito. I got to get two burritos and eight tacos, right? Uh, Manoso, straight up overdoing it. And in the end, it, it kicked my diabetes in and it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. And I told you guys probably about, I don't know, it's been about eight months now since I was diagnosed. Um, you know, at first I was all bad. I lost hella weight. People are thinking I had the big C. I was just looking ugly in the situation. But I fought back. But I strayed off course, man. So lately I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I've just been like, uh, I've been off in La La Land. You know, it's hard to get my mind focused on my content. But I'm back. I'm back and I'm definitely, I got some heat for you. Don't think that I've been sleeping or, 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 or straying away from the bullshit because I'm not. My ears are to the streets. I'm still in the mix. I'm still um, making thumbnails, getting my content ready. So I'm going to be hitting you guys with some straight bangers on both channels. That's most definitely. But for those that have been asking and have been concerned, that's what's been going on with me, man. I feel like my, my fight with diabetes, I was losing. You know, this last few weeks I've been losing. And I've been losing because I've been putting the ball on in their court. You know, and um, it's hard, man. For anyone that's going through the same issues or is pre-diabetic or anything like that, man, all I can say is is uh, pay attention to your mind. Pay attention to your body. Listen to it. You know, uh, health is wealth. Figure it out because if you're like me and you're uh, susceptible to uh, to indulging in bullshit-ass foods, then you're going to feel like I felt. And it's hard to explain, man. I've never felt like this in my life where I'm lackadaisical. I have no energy whatsoever. 
uh, my mind is clouded, I can't think straight, I'm pissing all the time. These are the things that that are that I'm dealing with, right? And it literally feels like I'm dying, like I'm just like done. And I know there's a lot of people out there clapping. Yeah, got them, right? Karma, homie, karma. Now nah, this ain't karma. This is too much fucking good food is what this is. This is a, uh, uh, diabetes is something that happens mostly to large, larger people, but anyone can get it. And like I said, it's hereditary it runs in my family. You know, my, all my dad's side, half my mom's side has it. So it's just something that, that I'm going to have to deal with as I get older. As you get older, you deal with different things. I understand that your body changes, times change. You know, you're young right now out there with your little Edgar and your little painted fingernails and running around sagging and do whatever the fuck you're doing, uh, bumping lefty and lazy boy and, and just chilling, right? But I'm gonna tell you right now, you know, pay don't 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 pay attention to your body. See what happens. You're either gonna get holes put in it, or you're gonna get holes put in it from the inside out. And me right now, man, it's 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 a fight, it's a struggle. So I appreciate all the support I've been getting, man. Um, thank you guys. It's 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 a humbling thing for the outpour of uh, support that I get for the people that are concerned, and for the people that are laughing about it and ain't concerned. I feel you. I understand. You know, that's what karma is. Karma catch you. You know what I mean? It's cool, though. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to let people know exactly what's been going on in the update because lately uh, I haven't been quite myself as far as producing content. And even in my everyday life, man, taking a couple of days off work, you know, check's going to be ugly. The struggle's going to be real. Bills are going to be crazy. But um, I got a backup plan for that, right? But I will be getting back to dropping a uh, 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 content the rest of this week, and, and we're gonna keep pressing on. I got some bangers for you guys. I've been working on some shit behind the scenes. I ain't just been laying on the couch doing nothing, man. That ain't my style. I'm not a lazy person. I hate lazy people. I've always said that. Um, sick or not, dead or not, I'm still gonna haunt you, right? I'm still gonna be all up in your fucking head. I got content, a lot of entertainment, a lot of stories, um, things I haven't even spoken on yet. You know, and then of course I'm gonna keep you with the update trending news. So that's what's been going on with me, man. I just wanted to put it out there for the people um, that have been asking, you know. Um, and I wanted to tell you a little story, trip out on this, right? So yesterday I, I'm I'm chilling and I go for a little cruise. Like, man, I got I got cabin fever, I gotta get out the pad, go take the truck, go dip a little bit, right? Go see what's going on. And I wanted to go look at a couple little fishing spots because um I'm going to be going fishing here, take my kids to go fishing pretty soon, right? My daughters want to go. So I was looking for a cool little spots for kids or whatever. And I'm cruising and uh, I pull up to this, this burger spot, right? But they have like the impossible type burgers. You know, the ones that are like, I don't know, they're fuck, I don't, they're probably worse for me than the fucking real one, right? But I'm like, all right, I'm going to snatch me some, some healthy food, you know, a lettuce wrap. And that's what I'm telling myself. So anyways, I pull up, boom. Give me a little ice water. I'm chilling. It's warm. Um, I'm out there posted up when a couple of dudes hit the corner and one of them's all tatted down. SFC on the back of his head. Fuck, you know, just all blasted. I know he's a Norteño. You can just tell right off the top, right? And I'm standing right there. I'm drinking my ice water and, and I'm thinking to myself, man, I'm feeling like shit. I ain't got time to play these games. And the fool turns to me. He's like, what's up, homie? You active? And I took a sip and I set my thing down. I said, bro, I'm dying anyways. What's happening, right? And then he looks and he was like, hey, you're Gunner from Gunner's Collective TV. And I said, yeah, that's me. And he was like, oh, fool, I'll be laughing. You're funny. whoop de whoop 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 right? And I said, so you already know, bro, I'm not active there. I answered your question. He's like, oh, no, it's good, bro. I'm not even tripping like that, bro. I'm just, you know, you know, you're over there looking at me. And I wasn't looking at him, but I guess he felt that way. And that's the thing. And I understand when I was gangbanging, you, you see someone who has tattoos, you see someone who has that look, and automatically you get defensive, like, oh, I got to hit them up first, right? And me, I was just sipping on my motherfucking ice water trying to live, right? I'm not even worried about it. But at that point, I was just like, bro, I'm already sick, man. I'm an old man. I'm sick. I got gray hair. I don't get, what are you going to do, bro? Swing on me? I'm going to swing back. Believe that, right? I'm not looking for no troubles or whatever, but I'm going to do what I does. And so after that, it was cool. We literally took a picture together and chilled out, right? Um, but I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of just like, once you get sick, here's the moral of the story. Once you get sick, all the other shit doesn't matter anymore. It's like all the the, the games I used to play and, and the gang lifestyle and all that, it just, man, that takes a backseat to everything. You're just like, 
bro, I'm, I'm going to be gone anyways, bro. It ain't really nothing to it. What's up, right? Um, but everything was good, you know. But that also, that was a lesson to me. It opened my eyes that the game don't stop. Shit does not stop, you know. Um, no one's feeling how you're feeling. They're feeling how the fuck they're feeling. So in order to get up to par and to get bubbled back and bounce back, I got to start doing the right things for myself. And I'm going to do that. So anyways, man, for those that have been asking what's been going on with me, that's exactly what it is. I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my little old bitty black heart. I appreciate you guys um, for all the support. You don't understand, man. It makes a big difference. You know, I've been doing this YouTube shit for four and a half years now and a little bit over four and a half. And I can tell you right now, man, that this right here, what I do is nothing without you uh, uh, watching. And, uh, you know, the Super Series, I've been getting a lot of people been on me about Super Norteño, Super Paisa, Super Wood. I appreciate all the laughs, man. Everyone that's giving me good feedback, you know. Hey, I'm just giving it to you real. If you guys can't identify with that shit, I don't know what you can identify with, right? But we're going to keep it cracking. Super, a couple other new Supers are coming up pretty soon, right? Super Norteño, Super Paisa, that's popping. Reactions, all that, we're going to do all that. But, man, I got some new Supers in the cuts. E, Boba, to see. I hope you guys are ready before you have your heads faster up your ass than a rabbit gets fucked because it's going to be going crazy. With that being said, thank you guys for all the support. Thank you for everything that you guys give me. I couldn't do without you. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive, struggle, struggle, and strive for what I honestly and truly believe in. And that's the betterment of all people. Thank you guys very much. <clears throat> I also wanted to say I'm going to be doing a reaction later on on this channel, man, uh, to the Food and Felons channel. Make sure you guys go tap in with it, man. Hey, he's been getting guests after guests, crazy guests, right? Um, I think he got Chum Lee. He got Larry, Ho Larry Hoover's son. Man, that's a hard find right there. He got Larry Hoover's son. For those of you that don't know who Larry Hoover is, man, free Larry Hoover. Larry Hoover, of course, allegedly is the guy, the foundation, the forefather of the Gangster Disciples out there in Chicago, man. Tap in. With that being said, gracias, man. I appreciate your time. The gun.